Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gil. And on this glorious day, we are once again aboard the R1250 GS Adventure. As we merge onto westbound traffic. Got out of the office a little early today. Have a doctor's appointment. And uh, it's fitting that I bring that up because one of the things that have been really bothering me lately is my sciatica and my foot specifically because I have some numbness there on the left foot now you're saying to yourself what does that have to do with motorcycling well for this one niggle this one thing that I find bothersome about my motorcycle that I absolutely love but I do not like the vibes that flow through the foot pegs that's my niggle everyone's got one what's yours leave in the comments below what's your one thing about your motorcycle that if you could change now fortunately the aftermarket does address some of the issues there I do have rubber peg covers that sort of soften and cushion the blow and all things considered the surrogated pegs that the adventure model comes with well they're not exactly made for comfort they're made for utility for your off-road and your adventure style boots they're made for grip and they work just well but if you're like me and you enjoy the ergos of your adventure touring motorcycle you're not off-road all day long hell you may not even be off-road five percent of the time maybe off pavement but off-road no I like these adventure motorcycles these large adventure tourists because they're comfortable the ergos are great doesn't mean I, I want my foot vibrated off. <laughs> All joking aside, guys. Getting the peg covers did help. But I do feel, still feel impulsive. Now this is relative. As is all things motorcycles. If you own more than your share of motorcycles or you've owned other motorcycles in the past, you're going to have comparisons when it comes to comfort. Getting off uh, a slew of Hondas with the flat six, which was glass smooth, turbine-like, a CB1000R, which again, was really smooth. A V4, again, really smooth. Coming off a bunch of Hondas, I had an expectation for smoothness. So if you're accustomed to riding twins, this might be a really, really smooth ride. For me, not that much. Do I love it? Absolutely. Do I want to get rid of her? No. Do I want to trade her? No. This engine is fantastic. This suspension, great. The vibes and the foot peg, eh, not so much. You guys know I love the gear, so I'm always testing out different boots to wear with it. A heavier boot helps, but that's my one nickel. Everyone's got one. No bike is perfect. The aftermarket addresses many of these issues that you may have with your motorcycle. Get out there and ride your motorcycles. And report back to me. Leave in the comments below. Hey, you may have addressed your issue. And if you've had any success, or if you haven't had success, please leave in the comments below. I, I want to know. I've been fortunate enough to have uh, uh, about two dozen motorcycles in my riding uh, career. And uh, you grow accustomed to certain things. And as you age, comfort is pretty high on the list of things that you will grow accustomed to. 
or you will have an expectation for. I know you tough guys out there. Hey Gil, you're on a motorcycle. Yeah, I get it. I'm on a motorcycle. Doesn't mean I don't want to be comfortable. Someone asked, did I miss my goal weight? Well, I miss some of the comfort that bike afforded me. What I don't miss, what I do not miss, is the sizes of that thing. I don't miss the side cases, the gold wing. And now this just doesn't apply to the gold wing. This applies to all of those motorcycles out there with side loading cases. Oh my God, sure you can get the liner bags but then you got to put the stuff in the liner bags and dig through the stuff. Nothing, absolutely nothing beats top loading cases. Nothing. Now I'm running the Beaumont Evo on this motorcycle. And they work just fine. But the OEM, SW Motec, so many companies make top loading cases. And the best sellers for a reason. They actually work. You can get the bag liners, but you know what? You don't have to. You can see your stuff when you open it up. You don't have to worry about stuff falling out the side when you, you open up a bag. And yes, I do love this motorcycle for all that she is and all that she isn't. She's a lot of fun and moves like nobody's business. What's not the like? And who knows? It is a twin. And she will smooth out in time. I'm oftentimes reminded that in 2006 I had a 1200 GSA and uh, that bike, <laughs> that oil cooled variant air oil cooled whoo she was vibey yeah but she did smooth out at about 20,000 miles she was never cream don't get me wrong she's never gonna be she wasn't silky smooth neither was that gearbox <laughs> you guys with those old GS's chime in here <laughs> Those are some of the clunkiest gearboxes. But boy, boy, did the faithful make excuses for that motorcycle. Huh. Back on topic here. Guys, whatever you're out there riding, enjoy them. And leave in the comments below, what did you do to make your one little annoying niggle, whatever you want to call it, what did you do to make things right? To make you happy in the saddle because that's all we really want to be and that is happy in the saddle and happy in the saddle is a relative term I mean what's happy for you what makes you comfortable things that you're willing to overlook I might not be able to overlook I ask you to enter into the conversation in the comments. Guys, thanks so much for coming along for the ride and being part of this thing that we do here on this channel. This is GB Winging It. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves and ride your motorcycles. I am out. <laughs>